Uh, L- looks like both players have keepable hands. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Gammer. <laughs> Is he just going to, like, <laughs> write different ways to spell both grammar? Both players grind to the bottom. Turn one, forest into Relic of Progenitus. That's a card that's very sneakily good against Jund. Yeah. Cards like uh, Tarmogoyf get nerfed by it. There we go. That's one of the ways that Justin fights this matchup. Just tear the hand apart. Take Corsair? Uh, No. It's either Corsair or Bold. It depends on what he has in his hand. Yeah, I think... Course is probably the correct choice. Um, it just depends on if he had like exactly um, what's that card I'm trying to think of? Dark Confidant on two. Right. Uh, then you want to protect it, but it didn't look like he had that. He looks like he's just building up toward uh, these two Blood Braid Elves in his hand. He's gonna have fire mm-hmm. off of Thoughtsies here. Probably take this uh, Blood Braid Elf. This is what you were saying. How uh, John, mm-hmm. how Justin wins is you just fire off discard spell after discard spell and leave him with nothing. Right. And then you drown him in. What'd you call it? Blood Braid Elves eventually. And honestly, both players being on the mulligan here very heavily favors Justin. Yeah. And then. Corsair. Yeah, just pop this. <laughs> God, Billy. I'm going to mute you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Time that guy out. Report it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. We don't want that again. Yeah. Ooh, we just saw another red card. Ooh, there is a no Stone Rain and a Inferno Titan in Jacob's hand. Unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to go bring them the sideboards back real quick. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, yeah, I really think that Justin's heavily favored at this juncture. Jacob missing land drops, doesn't have any red mana, can't cast any of the spells. Justin just making land drops, really just building up toward these two Blood Braid Elves. Uh, I don't see any real line from to victory for Jacob here. If Justin has land four and starts playing Blood Braid Elves, it really feels just like an insurmountable game. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Insurmountable something or other. You know what I'm trying to say. I don't because I just walked in. Yeah, well, Twitch chat knows. Tom, time that, that guy out Denver's. Denver's. I like that. I've never heard Denver's before. And there's that fourth land right on time. Going to start Blood playing Bra- these Blood Braidals. Advantage. Cascade. That is the word I could not remember. Oh, my go. God. Veil. Into Veil. Just the, That's the classic. You know what I mean? That's the classic John to play. Turn four. Bloodbraid Elf into a Liliana of the Veil. Starting to discard these cards. I bet he's discards this Inferno Titan. No? Maybe the Stone Rain's worse. Yeah, probably worse. Yeah. Go ahead and bash for three here. Yep. And then, oh, he's got an Assassin's Trophy, too. So if even if Jacob does, Jacob does resolve one of these problematic cards in his hand, he's got it wrapped up. See so Arbor Elf? Yep, that is an Arbor Elf. But Justin doesn't care. There's no re- there's no stomping ground, so he can't produce red mana. Exactly. So uh, I, I think Justin's just going to play another Bloodbraid Elf and see what happens. Well, play, we'll take first. up Lily first, yeah. Now Inferno? Yep, there yep. it goes. Now you just play the Bloodbraid Elf. I don't see why you wouldn't. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I think he's what I think he's considering here is uh, if he wants to assassin's trophy the Arbor Elf. In case which, he draws a stomping ground, because then he could just double bolt the blood rate. Well, no, it would be a mistake, I think, because it just unlocks the oh, there we go, Last the lightning time. elves. Nice. Oh my god, the lightning bolts in his hand. Yeah, he just had the perfect two Lilianas in a row. Look yep. at this. Ooh, we might get to see an emblem. No, nah, this game's going to be over before that. Don't scoop, Jacob. I want to see the emblem. Well, I mean, he's got a clock for six a turn, and there's no, the scoop anyway. Scoop. Dang it. Dang yeah, it, it, that was pretty brutal. Um, I, I don't exactly think that this, said, though. Yeah, it's exactly how you said, but Jacob never finding red mana. Just, you can't yep. win. You know, that's how it happens. So, what does Jake Justin have here? Uh, we got two circuitry. Yeah, can't speak. Two surgical extractions, one collective brutality, one pulse of Morasso, one thrun the last troll, two ancient grudge, two anger of the gods, two full mage, mage, two kitchen finks, one engineered explosives, and one craft digger's cage. Uh, for this matchup, I like. Uh, I don't know. There's not a lot here. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Um. 
I don't know. Surgicals, maybe? Like, uh, it doesn't seem awful, but, like... I mean, he's bringing in three cards, it looks like. Yeah, let's see if we can get a quick look. The two okay. Kitchen Finks and the, the green... And the, and the Pulse. Pulse, Pulse. Okay. So okay. he's just bringing in life gain. Yeah, it makes he, sense. I mean... He's bringing in resilient cards. Right. Cards um, that grind. And then on Jacob's side, we have one Sorcerer's Spyglass, one Graft Digger's Cage, two Anger of the God, one Abraid, three Ancient Grudge, three Kitchen Finks, two Trinisphere, and two Scavenues. I like the three Kitchen Finks a lot. I like the one Sorcerer's Spyglass. I kind of like the two Scoozes as well. I was going to say I kind of um, like the Scoozes, and I like the Trinispheres. Yeah, I like exiling cards from uh, Justin's Graveyard or your Graveyard even. No, it says opponent's graveyard, right? Yeah. Yeah, just like exile cards from his graveyard. Wait, no, Scooze? Yeah. Scooze is any graveyard. Okay. Um, no, I like the two Trinospheres, too. If you can power it out on turn two, yeah, that's really going to like put a beating on Justin. I don't know if they're for this matchup in particular, but I don't like Stone Rains in, against Jund. Not in particular. Yeah. So I guess you could like make an argument, take out Stone Rains for Trinospheres. Right. We'll I, see, though. Yeah, I definitely like Kitchen Finks, though, uh, on Jacob's side. I think. Um, I mean, it's literal blockers that just come back. Mm. Like, how's Justin getting damage to you? He's, he's attacking, right? Yeah. So it, I, I think bringing in Kitchen Finks in any matchup like that just feels good. Because, yeah. sure, your creature's dying. It's coming back. It's got Persist. Mm -hmm. And that's the point, is that you'd really just want these resilient two-for-one threats. Exactly. You're, you're essentially, like, if I block a Blood Braid with that, I'm... Gaining, I'm gaining five life, really. Right, and yeah. and that's I like Pulse of too out of the board um, mm -hmm. here. It plays double duty against Burn, like Billy was saying in the chat, and it plays duty in this matchup in that it can grind really hard. Right, yeah, I, no, I really like that card. I played a lot of it in Standard mm -hmm. when it was around. It's um, a good card. Just bringing a uh, creature or land to your hand and then gaining, what, six, right? Like, for three mana and instant speed, too. Justin looks like he has a pretty good hand here. Is there a Both bunch players of Thoughtseize? Keep. There's a bunch of Thoughtseize. I like it. No, I didn't see a bunch Our of Thoughtseize, but I saw three lands and spells, so... Okay. Can't be bad, right? <laughs> yep. So, is that Just, Stomping Ground? Yep, or? Stomping yep. Ground tapped. I think we're going to see a more traditional Ponza game here. We're going to see yeah, something looks powered like out on turn spells, three right? or turn two. Yeah, lands and spells. It's both players <coughs> have here. Yep. We're going to see what three drop Jacob can produce here. Ooh, Blood Moon. That's pretty good against Jund. Yep. We're going to see if Justin can start... Ca oh, there's a Lightning Bolt that he can cast, but... I, I kind of like just casting it on this Arbor Elf now. You're not really going to get much more value out of it. You really need to be able to staunch the development of this. Right. Yeah, th this is... He needs to find, like, an Ancient Grudge. Ancient Grudge doesn't kill Blood Moon. Uh, what did he have in his board to kill Blood Moon? Sorry, Ancient Grudge is only artifact. Well, he's got Abrupt Decays probably, and he's got okay. Assassin's Trophies. He needs which to find the he mana has to, find to kill basics, it. Yeah, which that's, what I'm, that's I the problem. Don't know if, quite if he, he's gonna find those. That's what. That's why I'm saying like. Ooh, Sorcerer's red. Spyglass. There it is. What's he gonna name? There's paper there for you, Jacob. Probably Lilia. The Last Hope is probably worse than the Veil. Dude, I have paper for you. There is paper pre-cut for you, Jacob. So he does have an it's answer like, in his hand. He has a Maelstrom Pulse that can answer this uh, Blood Moon. Uh, he has to see a black and a green source. I was going to say he has to uh, find the man found for it. it. He found the paper. Thank you. It's like he's never seen a stream before. <laughs> hmm. What is that? Oh, Island he didn't name Vale. Okay. okay. And there's a Relic of Progenitus. So he's got all the hate. Oof. Yeah. He needs a threat. We got some mountains on Justin's side over here. It's, those are some pretty expensive mountains. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a, a $100 mountain base there. Uh, what? Is it Vernon Catacombs, Stomping Ground, and... Twilight Mire. Yeah. There's another bolt to take care of the Arbor Elf. So both players kind of in this holding pattern here. We're just going to see Jacob cash in the relic and step. Probably looking for land four. I'd assume so. He and finds he it. finds that windswept teeth. It's a mountain. He's got a utopia sprawl too. Yep, also a mountain. Utopia sprawl? No, it's not. I was going to say. 
it gets attached to a mount. Ooh, that's a really good card. Tireless Tracker. Yep. I'm going to play Ooh. land immediately, He's get his clue. He's got Max McVetty. Proud of you, Jacob. Too bad he can't fetch. So if Justin doesn't find a basic, yep, there it is. I was going to say this turn he's just dead. Yep. And he knows it, so he's going to scoop it up. So these have been a quick two games. Both players kind of just essentially hating the other one out. Game one, yep. Justin just picking Jacob's hand apart yeah. with the thoughts, these effects. He's going to his board here. I see him. I see. I just saw him put engineered explosives in. That's pretty good um, here. And he's looking at these, putting in both surgicals. Okay. I wonder why the, uh, the surgicals are coming in, honestly, because the blood moon doesn't feel like you're going to get it. You know uh, what I mean? It looks like Jacob's going to bring in more blood boons. Oh, no, he's not. What's he bringing in? I did not see it. I just saw that he was looking and going, look, that blood moon did a lot of work. Maybe <laughs> he's bring in another one. He's taking out the Trinosphere for game, on the play. Or no, he's on the draw here, so I don't like it as much. Right. I'm just trying, I'm like trying to watch both players here. Yeah, me too. See what they're bringing in and out. They're, he's going too quick for me. He's bringing out the uh, Kitchen Finks, it looks like. Okay. Makes sense. EE e and the two. The two surgicals, yeah. Yep. I guess if you can make him discard something and then just surgical it, like that seems okay. Okay, like, that's fair. Discard Inferno Titan, surgical. Yeah. Discard Blood Moon, surgical. Yeah. Exactly. Like, he just doesn't want to let Jacob have these free wins. Exactly. I guess the Trinisphere stays for Jacob. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's still very good. It's not as good yeah. on the draw, but it's still a very good card. Right. I can hear you drinking over here. Yeah, it happens. Uh, he's going to have to pee later. I already know it. I've already peed like twice. Since yeah, I know. You're going to have to pee more, though. It'll happen. I know. I, I know. I know you. Let's see if J-Bones. <laughs> yeah, I really want to see him. Justin. I know. Just, I know who it is, but why J-Bones? Why not? I don't know. He's just coming up with weird nicknames today. Hi, Billy. Leave Billy alone. <laughs> Leave Billy <Yeah>. alone. <laughs> <laughs> what? Am I gonna? Sh is he gonna shave his head now, just like Brittany? I hope so. Um, I Get really want to see Justin fetch for basics if he can. Um, he doesn't look like he has fetches, but he has lands and spells. I saw a basic land in his hand. I think. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Black Never mind. Cliffs. No, there's a swamp. That is a swamp that's huge. I knew that's it. That's huge. Huge. It's like the wall. He has a lot of lands, it looks like, though, and two Tarmogoyfs. I'm okay with it. I like the I, mulligan. I do, too, but I would have been okay with that hand. Like, it wasn't great. I would not have been okay with that hand in this um, matchup. I guess, yeah, if I'm on the play and if somehow I knew my opponent was keep like mulliganing first, might have kept it. Okay, but That's obviously fair. when you're on the play, again, I, I, again, Billy, ooh, use. <laughs> thank you, Andrew. Wrecked, get wrecked. I love that Billy's literally the only one that chats. <laughs> I know. Well, it's because I'm not out there to interact with him in chat. Because like me and him would both be spamming the chat. Andrew, how many people we got in the chat? Ten. Ten. And, and Billy's only... the only one talking. People. You guys are boring. God. Billy's at home, probably like drunk. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Twitch stream. Woo! <laughs> why are you not here, Billy? Why? Because it's the Super Bowl. But why are you not here? Why do you think we only have ten people in the chat? Well, who cares about the Super Bowl? <laughs> like, it's the pa Patriots again. Like, I mean, do we care? Most of America cares about the Super Bowl. Well, that's because most of America wants Tom Brady to lose. By the way, Chad, if somebody could tell me what the to score of the Patriots game is right now, I'd really I got appreciate you. it. I got you. Hi, Bites Your Ankle. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> three to three still. That makes me sad. It is three to three. Uh, fourth quarter, 9.49 to go. First and 10 at New England, 31. 
I haven't had a chance to watch more than like two or three plays of the whole game. I've been busy all day. So Justin here going to take a mulligan. Jacob keeping his six, it looks like. Scries. Justin quickly keeps on top. Ooh, his hand looks pretty good. So he's got a fetch land, a tapped land, surgical extraction, bob, and something else that I couldn't see. So Justin's hand looks pretty well set up. Turn one, tapped, overgrown tomb. We'll see what Dust Jacob can put together here for turn one. I almost called him Justin, or Dustin, like his buddy Dustin. The suck, Sukel. Foosball is the devil. So just going to see a fetch land here, turn one from uh, Jacob and a passing of the turn. Turn two here, Justin going to follow my advice and fetch himself a forest. See what he can do. Put this bob in play. I like it. I like it. Jacob really going to be hard-pressed to answer this bob. Yeah. Sorry. Doesn't have it at the end stop. No, you're fine, my man. You're busy. You do your thing. Yeah, no, I had to answer someone. You're fine. Okay. I got you, brother. All right. I'm here for you. I got you, brother. I'm here for you. I got you, brother. Brother. <laughs> Let's go to Canada, eh? <laughs> No end step <laughs> bolt here from Jacob that worries me. Um, makes me feel like he doesn't have an answer for this Bob, which is going to let Justin win this game. Honestly, that's how he wins. You know, Bob is just the best creature, right? But in the process, he kills himself too. Yeah, but with both players on a mold of six, an unanswered Bob is just going to run away with the game, I think. Yeah, no, it is. But just saying, from Jacob's perspective, there's a bright side, right? Right. Greatness at any cost. Yeah. Turn two, Scoos. That'll keep him in the game. So let's see what we can find here. Bob's going to reveal, ooh, take three, Liliana the Veil. He's not going to mind taking that three, though, because I'm pretty sure he's just going to slam it here if he can. Yeah, he's going to go to 16. Yeah. I'm not sure if he has an untapped black source, though. Uh, I can't see... It's almost covering that one. He has a Raging Ravine, which he's going to play oh, okay. and tap. Okay, and then he's going to play a Tarmogoyf, probably. I'd assume so. Um, it's a good old else? Squire. Well, what else is the in one his hand? Two. Blood Braid, tar Double Goyf? Or? No, he's got Blood Braid, Elf, Liliana, and... An what's Assassin's th Trophy? Maelstrom Pulse? No, Surgical. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just saw, like, a half, like, look like a black card. Yeah, he's got Blood Braid, Surgical, Lily. Ooh. He's going to come in for two here. Jacob going to take it. Take it. Justin would be fine with trading the Bob for the Scoos there just because of the Tarmogoyf. Uh, what did he just draw? Just here? Yep. Yep. Which, okay. I really, at this point in the game, it's too late. You need that card to come down on turn two. Yeah, what's the exact text of Trinosphere? Everything costs three or okay, more. Okay, yeah. I do remember that now. Yeah. That, that legacy. Yes. Ooh, they're going wild in the bar next door. I wonder something happened. happened in the bar next door, guys. Did we get a touchdown or something? Um, let's look. Let's refresh my page. Um, no, no, the, the, the Patriots have the ball. Okay, uh, Justin here drawing a. Did he miss his Bob trigger? Oh, he revealed a land to it. Okay. We just heard the bar go nuts, and I missed what happened. Oh, he's got two Liliana the Veils now. Okay. He's going to fetch here. He's got to find a overgrown tomb. Pat's uh, in the red zone. Okay. I, I believe, you know, it's, gonna, it's rough because he wants to play around the Blood Moon, but you really got to start deploying this Liliana. You got two of them. Pat's touchdown. Okay. Oh. That Told you the Patriots are going to win. How much time's left? Oh, there's still seven minutes in the fourth Blood quarter. Crypt. Okay, that's also fine. I guess second red. Yeah, second red, second black. That's that's fine. It's just not a basic is kind of the only point. Right. He could play this uh, Blood Braid Elf, though. I like playing the Liliana more and just minusing. Yeah. You might as well just put it on one. Yep. <laughs> he knew. It's going to grow the goif. He's going to look and then realize that it's on the flip side. Level up your goyf. Come in for four. Yeah. 
So suddenly I really like where Justin's at. It depends on what Jacob can put together here. If he finds something really good off of this Bloodbraid Elf, he could win this game. I think he wants to find a Blood Moon more than anything, though. So if he okay, so if Jacob finds a blood a Blood Moon off this Bloodbraid Elf, right? How does Justin win? That's uh, he has this Bloodbraid Elf that he can cast. Well, he can't cast it though. Oh yeah, yes, he, he can. can. He yeah, he's got. Force. Yeah, that's right. So he casts blood braid and then gets to cast whatever so he gets he, off of it for free. So he finds he has so to he cast finds like he could find like a maelstrom pulse and just trophy, you know you know assassin's pulse, trophy yep. maelstrom pulse whatever to deal with that. Mm -hmm. um, so let's spin the that's how here. that's how he wins. He answers with his own blood braid basically. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. Huh. That's pretty good here. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that one thopter. <laughs> just like you have the real Thopter and then you just have this not real Thopter and it makes me sad uh, oof that hurts blood braid elf reveal it off the bob ugh. yeah not good greatness uh, at any cost land look like I oh, think that was a verdant catacombs okay which if it was is very good because it lets him find his swamp and then blood braid and then uh, blood moon's no longer a concern right I don't remember the text of P and Kira Noir. What are, what's the exact text? Do you remember? It makes two thopters when it ETBs, and then you can sack a thopter or sack an artifact for three to shock something. Okay. So Justin just discarded that Verdant Catacombs they just drew to the Lily. That's interesting to me. I mean, maybe he's just relying on the two Bloodbraid Elves to carry him to the victory. Right. I mean, he can cast both of them, even with a Blood Moon out, so... I, I think that at this point in the game, you don't need Surgical. I would have liked getting rid of the Surgical more than uh, the... Yeah, Burden. it also pumps up the, the Goyf. Yeah, that's very that's very relevant. Plus, that that uh, Verdant Catacombs was his fifth land for this Raging Ravine, which even through a Blood Moon... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it can't attack through a Blood Moon, but... So he did it with this, so he could have... This, this Goyf could be a 4-5 right now. Yeah. I really I wanted him to keep that fifth land. It, it allows him to play the attack with Raging Ravine. It's his second. It's his right. black source. And he's just like, form. please block this Bob. Yeah, I kill don't it. want it to kill me anymore. That's a kitchen finks there for uh, Jacob. That's embarrassing. Right? Yeah, I just dropped my cap for my drink. No, I gotta pick it up, dude. I'm just dropping everything today. Jacob gonna kill the Liliana. Well, Plays his kitchen, kitchen finks. That's pretty good. Justin, though, just gonna start firing off Bloodbraid elves. So we get nine to eleven. Oh, and you know what? He just drew the swamp. <laughs> what an actual pro. Bloodbraid. What do we get? What do we get? Inquisition. Inquisition. Uh. Oh yeah. No, that's right. He can't do that because of Trinosphere. You know you can because it's cast without paying its mana cost. Wait, what? Should I go tell them that? Hold on. I'm pretty sure you still cast that Inquisition. Because it's a free spell, right? You don't pay the mana cost. Because if that's no. the case, so no. You have to pay three. Okay. Oh, you do have to pay three? Okay, I guess nothing escapes the Trinosphere. Replaces the cost. Oh, okay. it replaces the cost? I don't know the exact text. Yeah, I don't know the exact text. No, the Trinosphere says anything that would cost below three mana now costs three mana. Because that spell would cost zero mana, it now becomes... Oh, okay, I see. It becomes three, okay. Thank you. Card's kind of confusing. Sorry for the confusion, folks. Yeah, sometimes I just don't know my rulings. Mainly when I can't read the text of a card, like the exact text. Because that's where you get most of your information from. Yeah, RTFC, right? Yeah. Um, or sometimes RTFC doesn't work. Yeah. Because your text is confusing. It's true. Because Wizards just likes to like mess with people sometimes with that. Just make con super confusing cards that make zero sense and... So Jacob just going to pass the turn back here. Another land. All right, spin the wheel. Let's see another uh, 
Uh, Blood braid. Well, we want to. He wants to play his land first. I'd assume. Uh, because wait, no. Why would you even do it? You, he has a turn of sphere out. You're you're casting oh, yeah. you're, you're casting blood raid and then just well, you, putting you, a card in the bottom. What else is he gonna do? Um, wait, play his land and then pass or attack and then pass. Um. Well, I like at least putting a th- another three two into play if you're going on the offensive. Mm-hmm. Or even cast the surgical to make Goyf bigger. Or just cast it on his blood braid. I guess he's just playing it slowly. I don't know. Maybe he just wants to hit land drops until he can have so he seven can... mana. I right. don't know. That yeah. feels like a well. He's gonna be a six. not a winning play he, against if, this if deck. If he plays his land here, he's gonna hit six, and then he all he has to do is top deck a land, right? Like yeah, but it, if Jacob just top decks like an Inferno Titan, doesn't the game just like basically end? Yeah, I think that's where Justin's at right now. He's trying to figure out. I'm pretty sure you're supposed you're supposed to just like attack. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's two different lines. He's playing conservatively. He's going to Trinisphere. Or not Trinisphere. What? He's going to pay for the Trinisphere yeah. to Surgical. Just cast Trinisphere because I can. Like it. See, there's an Inferno Titan. If Jacob just finds a land here, this game's probably just going to end. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Ugh, these different art blood braids. Ooh, the bar just went crazy again. Something happened. Chat, what happened? Jonesy, you're our man in the red zone. <laughs> <laughs> you're our man in the field. Yeah, just keep us updated on the game. Uh, anytime something happens, the bar kind of just screams. Yeah. Uh, and we can hear it through the wall. It's pretty uh, loud. Uh, you might, you guys. Oh, might and he's gonna read here. the Inferno Titan and realize that if uh, Jacob draws a land, he is in some serious trouble. That's why I really think you just needed, you need to turn up the heat. You know, no, no pun intended with the Inferno Titan, mm. but you just need to cast that Blood Braid Elf and start getting in with everything. Yep. You know, you're you're winning the race. If J- if Jacob doesn't find his six land, you're winning this race by a lot. So. Man, the bar went crazy again, so there's some stuff. Oh, d- Jesus. It's all, it's not like good cheers, though. They're like, ooh. Yeah. Like almost completions, and I, I kind of want to go out there and watch this game. Yeah, Turn right. Forget, down, why are we even doing baseball. this? The Super Bowl's on. <laughs> there it is. He finds land six off the top like a real pro does. They always find it right on time. He's going to slam this Inferno Titan. And then Justin's just going to lose. I mean, here's the thing. Justin was probably dead to the Inferno Titan anyway. Interception by Pat's Pat's ball. Told you, Pat's are going to win. Um, he was probably going to lose anyway if, J- if Jacob finds six land this turn. But here's what Justin was playing toward on my line. He's playing toward a clock of, I can kill in two turns, right? If Jacob doesn't find the land this turn, that's my best way to win this game. Because you play the Blood Raid this turn, last turn, the next turn you can attack with everything, including your Raging Ravine. Right. So you're presenting lethal if there's no Inferno Titan, which is your only chance to actually win. So yep. it's not, like I said, it's irrelevant because he found the six land, but he was, you have to play to your outs. Assassin's Trophy. Oh, that's rough. Well, Assassin's Trophy, well, I land? think, is still not no, even. Ooh. No, you have to play your land first. Yeah, you do. Let's see what he finds and how badly. Okay, okay never t- mind. Well, you still can't cast it. He's, you don't look at the. He's oh, just it's looking it's at a his black land. leaf cliffs. You can't play it. Oh, okay. Tent. He's realizing the game's just over. Because that Inferno Titan's going to attack. Going to eat the uh, Blood Braid Elf. He's going to be forced to chump it. With the Tarma Goyf. The other yeah, two guys that's, connect. That's rough. Well, like I said, I thought Ponza was favored in this matchup because Inferno Titan is just unbeatable. Yeah. And Justin's like, I'm dead, right? I think he's just directing all the damage at Justin. Yeah, he is. He didn't even bother with the... Uh, the dude, the blood braid. Well, he blocks there and blocks Pia and then takes one, goes to Takes two, two goes to one. 
Oh, that's right, yeah. Wait. No, Kitchen Figs is a 2-2, no? It's a 2-1. Right, and now it's a... Oh, and you can sack the Trinisphere to get him. Oh. Yep. There it is. There's yeah, the handshake. Yep. Kind of oh. what I thought was going to happen. You resolve Inferno Titan 